Hi, I'm Vicki Schneider, and today we're going to make a multi-bloom soft glass marble with a bubble layer. We're going to prep a boro punty. We're going to pull a single colored stringer. We're going to make a simple two colored twisted cane, and we're going to make a multi-colored stringer. If you want to watch me making the marble, you can just go to the part two. First thing we're doing is we're trimming the boro punty, and if you noticed, you will see that there was a piece of green tape on the glass, and that's my way of indicating that this is boro and not soft glass, so I don't run the risk of confusing them and putting them in the same project. Right now, we're pulling a transparent grass green stringer. You'll see that I'm pulling it with my tweezers on top of the flame. And now I'm pulling a medium yellow glass stringer. And you'll notice that when I trim that glass, I just reintroduce the stringer briefly into the flame and then raise it above the flame into the sweet spot which is where the radiant heat will cut the stringer and leave a nice, sharp little point there. Now I'm using two different colors of green. One is a transparent green and one is a pastel green. And I'm going to create a twisted stringer or a twisted cane. I'm making a little glass sandwich here out of the two colors of glass. I'm heating those up, and then I'm going to take them out of the flame, let the heat transfer through the glass evenly, and then begin to twist, and then pull. You can either twist each hand so that they're twisting in an opposite direction, or you can hold one hand still and twist the other hand and pull. Pull the diameter size. It's very important that you recognize that I'm a left-handed glass artist. So everything I'm doing is using my left hand for all the dominant work. You'll notice I have the tools in my left hand. If you're a right-handed artist, you want to reverse that. Now we're going to make the cane that we're going to be using for our petals. For the purpose of demonstration, I've chosen two pretty strong colors, medium red and dark yellow, encased with topaz. I suggest you try some color combinations yourself. Made a bullet of the medium red. I'm now adding a few stripes of dark yellow on one side of the bullet to cover about a third of the bullet, and that will create an accent on the petal. And then we're going to encase the entire bullet in a transparent color. In this case, I used a topaz, but you pick one that'll go with the colors that you select. I like to use a transparent over the petal cane. It ties the two pastels together and gives a common tint, which I think looks particularly nice. After we finish encasing the bullet with the transparent color, I'm going to use my tweezers to pull that transparent down around the base of the gather. I'm now dragging down that transparent around the back of the gather, which sort of seals the pastel colors inside the transparent so that when I pull the stringer, all of the glass pulls together. I'm adding a clear punty or handle to the end of that gather and I'm heating the glass up evenly. It's very important when you pull this that you maintain a straight pull. Don't twist your hands because you want to have a stringer that has one color on one side and an accent color on the other side. To test the heat, I'm going to push both rods towards the center. And if the glass moves, sort of like a bellows on, a, on an accordion, then I know it's time to pull. All right, our prep is done. If you would like to see how I use the components we just made to make a beautiful marble, I encourage you to go to part two. 
and take a look at that. And if you have an interest in studying with me or purchasing any of my work, please contact me at Expressive Glass in Buffalo. We have classes and rentals and retail, and of course, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. And I thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.